Ani bojo, gizasu nene in Disneykas, chichak dodam bautin donjiba. I'll translate. Hello, my name is Spirit Man from the Sun. I am Crane Clan. My tribe is in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. My name is Nathan Wright. I'm an indigenous herbalist. I wild harvest plants and mushrooms using traditional Anishinaabek methods. I'm a member of the Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa Indians. I own a company called Herbal Lodge, which creates traditional based Anishinaabek remedies such as teas and salves. I farm the wild by planting seeds, ethically harvesting and helping restore our ancient traditional gardens. I also like to research and educate people about our indigenous herbal plant medicines, mushrooms and food. Over the last several years, I have been documenting traditional methods for foraging and replenishing plant medicines and food in northern Michigan. Hello everybody, it's Nathan Wright, owner of Herbal Lodge, and once again we're out here in the forest. And what we've been doing is we've been trying to teach people how to propagate seeds that are from the pitcher plant. I have worked with local tribal communities to help restore manumen, also known as wild rice. Me and my daughter Autumn have restored herbal plants in the area, including pitcher plant, ginseng, cow parsnip, and many others. We want to preserve these important medicines in the wild for the next seven generations. By filming and sharing these different methods, as well as sharing our products to the public, we've seen an increase in interest and support from many people throughout the world. It has also helped me share profound experiences with my daughter and cultivate her own interest in our traditions. This is Anam Wright and today I'm going to teach you how to spread pitcher plant seeds in the forest. So right now we're... By creating these videos, I have witnessed an amazing amount of interest, especially with young tribal members who want to learn about our traditional methods but have no one they could learn from. It has been challenging to exist in a capitalistic world while honoring our Anishinaabek traditions and culture, but through the sharing of this knowledge, we can also preserve our sacred knowledge and skills. Being able to capture the attention of our future generations is invaluable and utilizing visual media has opened a doorway for me to reach wider audiences. Miigwech. Thank you for the opportunity to continue to spread our indigenous knowledge and ways of life. It's an honor to be here with you today. It's an honor for me to do the work I do and share our traditional herbal knowledge with the next generation. Please join me on this beautiful journey today. Donate now. You know, do it right, right? And yeah. If we don't, we get... It's cool, you got rice in your hair. <laughs> you got all kinds of rice in your hair. It's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff.